Hey Gordon, time to make a video. Just want to show you how I've got this thing hooked up. So, uh, just bear with me and I'll show you. Just got to get this thing out of the way. So, alright. So, here's your pump, Gordon. This is the water that goes in, comes from the pump, goes in where your column starts, so that's your input. That's where your water goes in, inlet, your temperature running at about 78 degrees. You can see that. 78 degrees. That's your first condenser. That's hooked up onto the next condenser, which is vertical, next to the column. It goes up, up to the top. It's going to come around. And this one, Gordon. Uh, top of your column, that's your outlet. That just returns back to the ESCII. Just like I've got it there. Pull it apart down. And then you can see the water flowing. That's your return. That's where your vapors go through, come through and then get cooled through the vertical condenser. So that's on your outlet, it goes back to the esky. That's my temperature probe that goes in there, which is this one, the white wire running here. And still running at 78 degrees. That's your parrot, your alchemeter. Now we'll see if we can get a bit of close up shot there. That's your 100 mark there. There's your 9 mark there. There's your 95. Still running at 95%. The 94-95% on my fourth litre. Nice steady little stream coming out. And the water pipes coming in your reflux condenser which is built into the column inside here that's your the column's top end where your reflux condenser is so there I've got my gravity feed and it's got a valve there on top built-in valve gravity feed with a tap where I can turn it on and off then it's hooked up onto the part it goes uh, onto your tap, that's your micro needle to adjust the flow of the water going to your um, reflux condenser. So we'll follow it, and there's the part that goes into the reflux condenser. Now, the other part it comes from the reflux condenser, so as you can see, there's your one part coming in. This one here, that's your inlet. Now this one here, that's your outlet, which just goes into a, a empty container. 
So I've got mine running on down to the ground. Follow the pop. And as you can see, the water is just trickling out of it. So this is just waste water. It's about uh, currently, I'll show you. So I just catch it in this container here. Currently, that water is on a temperature gauge 72.4 degrees. And I've got a T piece bolt into it with a temperature probe. That's a water outlet temperature, 72.4 degrees. And the alcohol that's coming out of it, it's nice and cool. Still running about 95% there. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. A little bit hard to. There's the 100 mark there. Just a shut off tap or shut off valve, whatever you want to call it. Your main horizontal horizontal uh, condenser. The vapors that comes off at uh, the column at 78 degrees, catching nice and steady. Uh, there's a condenser water pipe connected up to the vertical one running up up and then the water outlet just going out there and it just returns back into the ice cream just like that and there it's going there's your water pump. There's a pump water coming out of the ice key to your in input or your inlet, which is closest to your outlet of your alcohol. And just show you what temperature we're running on the boiler. I don't know if you can see that. It's 89.5 degrees. 89.4 degrees, nice and steady. Hope this helps. Give you an idea how to set up runs. That's just normal cold water, room temperature, little tap on it, needle valve there, up into the column, into the reflux condenser, and this is your outlet, which just goes into that container there, and as you can see it just trickles out of it, just hot waste water. About 72, 73 degrees. So, 72.7 degrees currently. So, we're running at a nice and steady stream. So, about 94, 95%. So we're running at 78 degrees. That's the vapors that comes off at the top of the column, which is that probe there, and it actually measures the vapors that comes up 
through the reflux condenser and then the vapors travel through that part there and down into a vertical condenser and it condensates. So that's how it runs down and goes through there through the horizontal one getting cooled down and there's a the liquid coming out. So that's the setup. Thanks for watching. Cheers.